This thing is taking forever. <laughs> Just setting us up on streaming for anybody who's watching this on YouTube. Okay. We're creating. <laughs> <laughs> Creation and creativity sounds. I know it's tough when we're streaming to two different pages. Sorry, YouTubers. All right. <laughs> Going live. <laughs> All right, looks like we're streaming and we're recording. Yay! Yay, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did Good it. morning and happy Sunday. It is Sunday, March 14th. The I oh, no, tomorrow's the Ides of March. Today is Friday. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're a I pie like lover, get out there. It is. Yeah, get out there and find your free pies. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Friday. Just pies. Um, today's topic is creativity, but before we get started on our discussion of creativity and spirituality, let us, I first welcome my partner in crime, Reverend Jamie. Good morning, Reverend Jamie. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Yeah, happy Sunday. Beginning of another beautiful week, getting us closer next Saturday is the first day of spring. Yay. We're here in the the uh, upper hemisphere, the northern hemisphere. Uh, very excited about that. Mm -hmm. So before we get started, let's have our opening blessing and see where that leads us. So you just close your eyes, settle in wherever you're at, get comfortable, deep breath in, and out, and just allow that regular rhythmic flow of your breathing, catch it, are you breathing shallow? Are you really taking good, deep breaths, cleansing breaths? And just kind of take a check in on where you're at, where your emotions are today. Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you conflicted? Are you feeling content? Whatever it is, it's perfect. It's perfect for this moment right now. It's where you're meant to be. If you're feeling conflicted or challenged or unsettled in any way, it's okay. You're working through something. But as we work through, we come out the other side. And what I'd like you to do right now is if you're feeling that way, is really just envision that light at the end of the tunnel. Envision that bright, warm, joyful light when you're feeling more settled, more content, more joyous. And if you're already feeling that this morning or whenever you're listening to this recording, if you're listening on recording, just bask in that feeling and know that you can get yourself here anytime you want. Even if things shift and you become a little less settled or a little less content, all you have to do is shift your perspective. Because we, as we're going to discuss today, create what we feel, what we are, and what we experience. So we're just guided right now in this opening blessing to really think and feel and get comfortable in that feeling 
of being in that place of warmth, of comfort, of content, of joy, of peace. Bask in it, take it in. Deep cleansing breath. Let it out. Seal this moment in your memory. And as you're ready, let's open your eyes and let's have our discussion. Blessed be. Blessed be. That was beautiful. Thank you. I love where these blessings take me. Uh, never you- quite sure. I never, it, it just, it's just so nice just to see what the angels and the divine really want us to know and hear. I'm smiling and giggling because I was thinking yesterday, um, Elvia had the healing event and I was there with her and she's like, you know what, Jamie, bring us home. And I said, okay. So I said, I, I don't know what I said, but she's like, that was beautiful. And I was like, thanks, but I don't have a clue what I said. So I'll listen to the recording because <laughs> and it always seems like the most beautiful ones because not that we aren't amazing creators, right? But it's like, this is what we do. We step out of the way and we're, me and Marianne, when we do these, are, you know, it's it's our being, but it's not us. So it's always funny. It's like, oh my God, that was so good. Can you say that part again? And we're like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so it was interesting because I think you and I, when we chatted briefly yesterday about preparing for today, mm-hmm. neither one of us were feeling very creative um and so as I was going to bed last night I mentioned to my daughter I was reminding her of what my day entailed and I said I have no idea what we're going to talk about and she said mom you create every day and you know she's absolutely right I was thinking of creativity as in you know being in a place of having to do artsy creativity (laughs) and and she looked at it in a whole totally different realm of creating and it's about making and it's about bringing and it is artistic in some way but it doesn't have to be artistic in, I'm going to put this color with this color and I'm going to add this frame on that photo. It's not all about that at all. Creativity is actually the art of creating, making, and being in that place like that opening blessing brought us, of bringing us to that place of harmony and to peace and to contentedness. And we can bring that to others by creating a pleasant environment for them to be in, or they can bring us to that place. And I'm perfect example of it. Uh, many of you probably know my dog Bronk got really sick very, very quickly. And I was very worried that I was going to have to make a very um, difficult decision. The good news is that while he will always have this, <coughs> excuse me, life altering illness he is going to have a very happy life as long as I'm vigilant in maintaining his care but so yesterday he got to go to the groomer which he was supposed he was supposed to be going to the groomer he had his emergency surgery and the poor little thing you couldn't even see his eyes he had so much hair in his eyes so and we're coming out so I had taken him for his little business walk afterwards because he always has to he always has to take care of business after he sees the groomer and we're walking back in this the area where my groomer is it's an industrial area so you don't see a lot of people walking on the street and this little boy was coming by on his scooter he must have been like maybe eight ten no more you know in that age range and very pleasant little boy says to me you have a really cute dog (laughs) ma'am And I was, first of all, he spoke to me, but then, ma'am. Ma'am, like this is so. We're talking inner city here where most Mm -hmm. people are, are, you know, they're they're not necessarily polite. Let's put it that way. 
much less speak to you. So I was kind of taken aback a little bit. And I said, well, thank you very much. I kind of think so too. And I was picking them up to put them in the car. And I said, do you want to pat them? And he said, oh, may I? I'm so oh. polite. <laughs> and he came over and he, he's so soft. I really love him. I love small dogs. And I said, yeah, I do too. And he said, well, thank you very much, ma'am, for letting me pat him. Have a great day. And off he took off on his little uh, scooter. And I was like, well, and I'm getting in the car and I found myself smiling. And I mean, I was happy that Gronk had gotten groomed and that we were having a usual day. But my day was really made by this encounter with this over polite young man. Mm. And he actually helped create that environment for me to be happy, happy and hope, hopeful for a, that all is not lost on, on the youth of today, that we have this beautiful, if, if, if I, we raise our kids properly, as most parents do, we just happen to hear about, you know, the news is always covered with the, the stories of all of the bad stories. But if we, if we continue to raise our kids right and we continue to do the right things, we create this environment of joy, of peace, of happiness, and of goodness. Mm-hmm. I love that. I love that. And it kind of, and it's funny because I was clueless. And then um, I had a, a, an eventful morning. <laughs> so, and it reminded me of like, oh my gosh, the one thing. I always remind people, and it's so timely, especially with the transits right now, you know, even when chaos is the catalyst of creation, right? Because, and, and it ties in, it's almost like the, the the prequel to what you were just saying even, right? Because as to what Marianne was saying, like showing up and just creating space. And even, you know, this morning I just had like, my morning went left unexpectedly out of nowhere and it was chaos. And Marianne always texts me, we check in before we go in and, and she knows me enough and she, she knew, but just by my response and my text, like, <laughs> you know, like oh. <laughs> so when we got on here, we get on here a couple minutes before we share some time together. And she's like, are you okay? Because you know, I was like, no, she's like, do you want to talk about it? It's like, I can't, I'm going to cry and we're getting ready to go on, you know, but <laughs> Even in that there, but then she created and held the space, right? So that my chaos with her warmth and just support and being there and, and, and being whatever I needed her, you know, support to be in that moment really opened up and shifted the energy completely. And I feel like, you know, as we know, life, right? <laughs> life right now, life 2020 and even life before because it's been like every year we keep thinking like oh that ball is going to drop and everything's going to be great and this is and we all are so like yes I'm using this as the guidepost to start you know this great thing and it's not that we aren't starting great things but I feel like you know there are times when we make choices or choices in the past have been made out of our control even that lead up to events that can become chaotic and it's in that chaos that we can either fold and just say you know what forget it I'm done with it I wash my hands of it this nothing to do with me you know not my circus I'm not dealing with it or you know and that can be more on a collective level even right collectively some people are like you know what I didn't have any parts in this that happened before me so whatever and they carry on while where other people are like no you know what There's a great uprising right now of people saying like, this stuff isn't right and we're going to stand together and we're going to make a change and and getting, you know, and change. We need creative thoughts to create change and in our personal lives even, you know, so I could sit here and I could wallow about, you know, oh, poor me and, you know, be a victim or I can say, you know what? All right, this is the situation. Thankfully, Marianne opened some space for me and we were able to just have a nice dialogue around what happened. And now I'm able to be creative and create what I want to come out of this in the sense of I can't make other people say or do anything they don't want to, but I can change me and I can get creative within myself and create even who I want to be in this situation, which 
is in alignment with me and, and what I know. And, you know, I think we're very blessed to have the tools and things that, that we know. And um, I'm hearing what I'm getting to and saying this, <laughs> my guides are coming in, <laughs> is that, you know, life happens and sometimes it's messy and sometimes it feels, you know, uncomfortable, like it's a little chaotic, but we, we can create in that mess and say, you know what, I don't want to have this experience anymore. It might not all be in my control, but I am in control of me and how I respond to things or how I show up. So now I can get creative in the ways that I show up and with the knowledge that I have versus, well, I have all this knowledge because this is where my mind was. I'm being completely honest here. You know, I have all this knowledge and I still can't do this or that. So who am I, you know, so I'm throwing everything away because I'm emotional. <laughs> now, right? I'm emotional. I'm in this chaos. And, and I went into the victim, right? I had to turn it around and like, oh, poor me. And, or who am I? And I was like, no, like that's, that's not me at all. So just getting more creative in how I show up as me in this event and, um, you know, even that being a form of creativity, like you can stay true to yourself, but create the identity per se, how you show up and respond to things. And 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 that identity that is more in alignment with your truth, you know, so I like I could create the victim identity or I can create my empowered wisdom identity. <laughs> so I'm choosing now to create, you know, and show up in that in that place of wisdom. And I was giggling because it's just like today was not the day. I have like three things I need to be online for for about eight hours today. And then I had to shout with my smiling face, right? You know, and I was thinking like, you fraud. <laughs> That's what I thought this morning. I was like, you're such a fraud. It's like now I'm just having a moment. But I mean, and it's crazy on like the opposite way we can create. And we can create all these false identities, even thinking um, for those that receive, uh, that are members of our Living with the Angels community and receive the um, angelgrams and the daily emails, Brad heard about she was having a Neptune moment and she was making all these assumptions or, you know, or assumptions came up. And, um, you know, and I was even, even thinking that like, you know, getting creative with these assumptions or getting creative and, and, and the identities, again, that we create for ourselves, which they're not, but it can be so easy when life isn't going the way we want it, or it is, and then all of a sudden it takes that turn out of nowhere, and then we create all of these horrible things. I mean, for me, like I say, I was a fraud, I was a failure, <laughs> I had no business, you know, having a kid, like it was just all this stuff, and it's like, why am I putting that energy into that when I can spin it? And put that energy into creating my truth. You know, I'm very empowered woman. I'm much more a victor than a victim. <laughs> and I'm actually a really great mom. <laughs> you know? So it's like being, you know, watching, really watching what we create and, and ourselves to be when things don't go the way we want it. Because we, we, we are powerful creators and we create in each and every moment. And, um, you know, so just being gentle with yourself and compassionate in your creation. And I think that's, that's one of the real important tools is just really being mindful of what we're creating mm -hmm. by our thoughts, our words, and our actions. Mm -hmm. And, and being mindfully creative to the point where we're, we are creating that really good feeling, whether mm -hmm. it's paying and being in the coffee shop because we're going back to coffee shops slowly but surely mm -hmm. paying for the person behind you you know paying it forward um or paying it in advance and creating that space for yourself because what you give you get back so or allowing somebody with one item in the grocery store to go ahead of you when you have a cart full mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what you're giving you're getting you'll get that back some other way mm -hmm. um you know maybe you'll end up being the hundredth customer a big by doing that whatever little <laughs> thing but creating creating the environment we want to live in so we want to live in a harmonious happy 
bright environment. Is it going to happen all the time? Absolutely not. Unfortunately, this is not utopia. But if we are taking those diligent, thoughtful, creative steps to build that environment, just like that little young man was building this thoughtful environment, he was raised to be extremely polite, was not afraid to speak to an adult. You know, he was creating this really positive environment. He's going to go far if he remains consistent with that attitude, that friendliness, that politeness. He, it's, that will open doors for him. And in the meantime, the people that encounter him like me are going to be going, wow, this is our future. And it made my heart sing. And I came home and I happily walked the dog and came home and just it set my, the rest of my day on the right tempo. For you having that inner, I'm a fraud, I'm a failure moment invited the conversation, no, this is, you know, kids are kids. You know how to handle it. You'll know how, you'll, you know, you'll call on all those tools and strengths that you have and you will make it better. And in the meantime, the conflict will resolve itself in a manner that is going to be grow, growthful. This is the word I was going to use. <laughs> wow, that was impressive. We are creating new words and stimulate well. growth. <laughs> for all of those involved. And so, and, and it will clarify feelings or it allows feelings to, to be revealed, to be resolved. Mm -hmm. So we have to really be mindful of what we're creating and to, be mi to really be thoughtful in what we're creating that it is impactful and positive. Mm -hmm. I love that. I mean, because if you think about it, we always say, right, you write your own story. Absolutely. You your story. And it and that, and I feel like self-talk that we have within ourselves, you know, I'm I'm part of a um for my other job, I'm we're we're running a group coaching and it's on bullying. And um while some people, you know, obviously have bullying that happens from outside of themselves, like the biggest bully is usually the voice in our head telling us, you know, why we shouldn't, why we can't, why it'll never work out, why we can't have it all. I'm actually, I'm, I am creating the experience of having it all. Aside from my moment this morning, like in the big picture, like I am really in the process. I don't know how it's going to go because I've never had it all, or at least been aware, you know, but I will tell you in my creating, having it all. And I listed these things I wanted and it's, I actually have most of it. It might not be at the, the like this, the, I don't know how to really word it. Like, like the place I want it. Like I, I, I was like, I want a nice house. You know, I actually have a nice house, but it does need upgrading. But I have the foundation of everything of having it all. And it was like such this beautiful thing of like, wow, like Marian knows where I was what two and a half, almost three years ago now. Like, I don't want to say I had nothing, but I really started over and I've had to get things, get the car, get the job. I did have the house, you know, um, and, and other things that have since come that I wanted in my having it all. And I was like, wow, like, and I even sat and was like, you know what? I really am a powerful creator because in less than three years, I have the foundation. I have all the pillars. I, I created everything. Now it's just the next level of that, you know, so it's kind of like building up, but I thought, if, and even in that, maybe remember, because we do create our stories to really just pause and take inventory, you know, and seeing like, cause you very well may have a lot more than you realize you have, and you may possibly have it all, but we, you know, we don't allow ourselves to see clearly or just really stop and appreciate that what we do have and, and staying in that place of gratitude and clarity. And so when we do go to create, we can say, okay, you know, I, I want to create this, but oh, wow, I didn't even realize I had this, this, and this already. Like I'm on my way. And then just, you know, to create from that and 
you know, keep creating even more, even better. And not being afraid to ask, you know, how does it get better than this? How do I create more than this? So you get the answer. But Absolutely. yeah, stopping that bully that blocks the creativity. So we would be very interested to hear how you are creating your environment and how you are creating your space and creating your better place. So feel free to enter that in the comments, keep the conversation going. Um, I feel like that's complete. That's good to me. All right. So we will move on to our tenants and I'll share those on the screen for anybody who might want to follow along and Jamie, you can get us started. Absolutely. And if you guys are probably most of you are sitting down. So as and if able, just closing your eyes and placing your hand over your heart, taking a nice deep breath in. And allowing our, yourself to go back to that space that Marianne so beautifully created for us this morning. And as you do, and as we read these tenets, really allowing them to fill all of your being. I open my heart with deep gratitude and intend today to master my spiritual, mental, emotional, and physical energies. I am dedicated to my spiritual practice. I surrender to my soul's purpose through sacred prayer. I own my guidance. I live in partnership with my angels. I serve with a loving heart. I am compassionate in every moment. I trust it's all good. I allow immediate forgiveness. I honor my truth. I listen to the spiritual messages within my physical body. I express myself creatively. I am one with Mother Earth. And so it is. So it is. And as we enter this week, we will send you off with our joint prayer that we created together. O oh, divine creator, keeper of my higher power, I humbly ask that you help me to hear through your attentive ears, see with your clear vision, touch and feel with your gentleness, speak with your non-judgmental tongue, and embrace and welcome all with your loving and accepting heart. Blessed be. Blessed be. And with that, we will send you off on your way for a beautiful week. Create something extraordinary in your world Love and that. let us know what it is. Yeah, say, and then share it with us because we want to know. <laughs> yeah, we want to be part of it. Yeah. The more you share, the more we all benefit. Mm -hmm. And all of the good energy that you throw out into the world comes back to all of us. Mm -hmm. So please do let us know. And Reverend Carolyn and Reverend Dawn will be with you next Sunday. So until next month, Jamie and I, on behalf of both of us, we wish you love and we wish you joy and we wish you peace. Yeah. Be well. Bye, all.